Suspects are in custody and police are bracing for what one officer calls an L.A.-style outbreak of street gang warfare. Tensions are at fever pitch among project drug gangs after this week's murder of a gang member. New Center 4's Bob Serkin reports. It was at this Hunter's Point intersection where on Monday, 19-year-old Edric Carr was ambushed in his automobile and shot to death in a hail of semi-automatic gunfire. Carr, street name Peter Lee, was a leader of the Sunnydale Housing Project's Swampy Desert Gang. Police believe he was murdered by a member of a Hunter's Point gang, Three the Hard Way, in retaliation for an attack on one of its members. Both gangs considered among the most violent in the city. San Francisco Police Captain Robert Fife says the worst may be ahead. Our fear is that there'll be more retaliation. Is this the beginning of L.A.-style gang warfare? in San Francisco? <clears throat> it certainly could be. In the Sunnydale projects today, high tension. Large numbers of Edric Carr's gang boldly hanging out, vowing retaliation for his murder. Carr's street name and memory enshrined on the walls with the initials R.I.P. Rest in peace. Sunnydale resident Horace Nelms says there has been little peace. He says someone like shot through his front door I'm last gonna... night, and Helms suspects the gunfire came from the rival Hunter's Point gang. My retaliation, if one comes in my door, I'm going to kill him at the front door. If he's got a gun, he's going to be dead. The shooting has also touched off gang violence inside San Francisco's juvenile detention facility. Last night, five members of the rival Sunnydale and Hunter's Point gangs had to be locked up after fighting. And today, 12 more gang members refused to come out of their rooms, fearing more violence. There are some 30 active street gangs in San Francisco with over a 1,000 members, each gang sporting its own distinctive colors and mottos. Police Captain Tim Hetrick fears the gangs are forming new dangerous alliances. Now they're aligning themselves with each other for mutual protection. Does that mean more crosstown violence? Um, it may mean more crosstown violence, but it also will mean that uh, we'll have a much tougher job of keeping track of the individuals. But of most concern to police right now, trying to maintain law and order in the embattled housing projects and at next week's funeral for Edric Carr. Bob Serkin, New Center for San Francisco. A special task force of police and prosecutors met for the first time today to solve the weekend gang killings. One concern is that both warring gangs, Hunters Points and Sunnydale, have now picked up reinforcements. Investigators suspect that the Out of Control Gang in the Western Edition and the Potrero Hill Gang have formed a deadly alliance with Sunnydale, opposing Hunters Point and the Third Street Gang. Beyond that, no break yet in the weekend murder case. Wendy? And in San Francisco, the police pulled two dozen suspected gang members off the street last night and may have saved their lives. While they were in custody, their corner was hit by gunfire. No one was hurt. Mayor Agno says if the violence is going to be stopped, so the, the community to has to get involved. On it from a law enforcement standpoint. But that's not going to do the job alone. We need the help of the community, and that's one of the reasons uh, I'm going out there. And uh, uh, we're talking to uh, the religious community and the educational community uh, and saying, folks, we've got to have your help. It's not going to work alone. The mayor also says that teenagers he's been talking with want positive alternatives to violence and to gang wars, alternatives like recreation and jobs with the future. Dave. On. Anna, fear, frustration and outrage continue to jar certain San Francisco neighborhoods tonight following Saturday morning shooting of a dozen young people. Although police say they have leads, there still have been no arrests. The bullet and shotgun attack left two dead and ten injured. Police have not yet confirmed if it was a gang attack, but most residents here believe it was. More and more since Saturday's brutal attack, residents have been coming together, talking, looking for answers. We could talk till our faces are blue. We gotta get out and do some footwork. We gotta get out there. Put on your tennis shoes. Tonight at St. Paul of the Shipwreck Church, these community members were trying to construct a plan of action. We know what days the dope is being sold. We know who's buying the dope, who's selling the dope. Okay? All we have to do is stand there and say, oh no, it's not going to happen. The gangs are not the enemy, parents say. The gangs are their very own children who need help. I got a 14 year old daughter whose boyfriends are as part of one of these kids you guys are talking about. You know, she thinks that the world revolves on Third and Palu. And children, we love you. We want to help you. You've got to stop this crime. You're hurting yourself, you're hurting your parents. 
There's a new program to fight gang violence and drug dealing in San Francisco. It's being set up by District Attorney Arlo Smith and the police department. That announcement comes 12 days after a bloody drive-by shooting in the Bayview Hunters Point District. At a news conference today, D.A. Smith said they would try to hit gangs and drug dealers in the pocketbook. We will be cracking down on both any premises, any houses, any place that are being used for dealing in narcotics. Also, of course, any vehicles used in the, the course of narcotics. And more importantly, taking the profit out of drug dealing by seizing the, the funds. Well, I, this I, program is similar to one already being used by federal drug enforcement authorities. There weren't any on the streets where narcotics are sold. By some estimates, in the last two weeks, the number of arrests has gone down by 35%. That reduction may have already had an effect. Reverend Al Walker works in housing projects where a lot of crack is sold. He says with fewer police evident, people are more afraid of the well-armed dealers. It comes from knowing that there's Uzis and AK-47s and that those dealers are not playing, they will use them. It has been another violent weekend among the...